Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Let's Play Morrowind, where we're about to go on an expedition into the Ashlands to Zarafel Bloat Mine, the only bloat mine on Vardenfell. Because uh, someone something's gone wrong there, there essentially, and we need to go sort it out, and it's a it's tip top secret. It's really, really super duper secret. Only we are allowed to know about its location. It's it's very, it's very hush hush, don't you know? Uh, however, I need to get back there in the first place. So uh, let's see. One thing I want to do. Where is it? Yeah, yeah the Radisar's veil. Some bonus shield, and also now teleport back. Travel to the lower tower. Very good. Okay. Oh, it's. Yeah, I see. It's night time. Well, fine. I'm just gonna go levitate upstairs and go to bed. And then tomorrow morning, we shall. Uh... Hey, check it out. My throne room. Uh, tomorrow morning, we we shall. Um... You know, we'll head out. 7 p.m. Rest. Why are you taking so long to save, game? Journal's been updated. What? Badass Uvarith should now have been able to resurrect Verena. I suppose it's safe to go back if I want to. If I want to, being the operative words there. Right now, actually, I don't. One thing at a time, people. One thing at a time. Now then. I love that it specifies that the elevator switch is factioned owned. Uh, right. Anyway. There's always that switch that was supposed to be in here that I never did find. Wasn't there? I do wonder if it's around here somewhere. Anyway, right. I first we can we're gonna head out, but I I I think we're gonna get a nice hearty breakfast before we do. Gotta start the day off right. <laughs> Don't know why I was Welcome. levitating still. Right. Uh. Breakfast, something to eat, something to eat, something to eat. An omelette, very good. That will certainly do. I have 157 magicka. Okay, yeah, it does seem to be going back up to 150 or so. I am assuming that is normal. It's probably because of some of the items I'm wearing, etc. But as long as it doesn't go up to like 2,000 again, that's that's the main thing. I don't want 2,000 Magicka. That was silly. That was very, very silly. Now then. All right. Let's have a little look at the map. Because we were provided with a map, which I think is wonderful. The vanilla game could have done with doing this a bit more often. But Zarafel's right there. So basically, we need to go up to the Mazanchen and then round and make our way to the Foyada Ashudan and then head south down it. Pretty straightforward. Amazing how straightforward it can be when you've got a map. Don't you think? Well, it didn't take long, did it? Oh, hello. I have virtually unlimited magicka now. When it comes to casting small spells like this, anyway. So, you little gits. I can just nuke with magic at my leisure. Now, I thought about bringing someone with me, whether it was Wilson or Gavin or uh, Sarah. But I'm a bit, I've had it up to here with companion AI lately. And also, this is technically supposed to be a secret location. So, I might bring Sarah with me when we do the Azura quest. That I have decided because she's very intimately involved with Lady Azura and stuff. So, there might be something interesting there speak of when that happens so I'll probably bring her with me when we do the Azura quest although I'm sure I'll come to regret that 
because the path landing makes my life a living hell. But, you know, I'm going to do it anyway. But for this quest, I think I'm going to go alone. Because it is, after all, meant to be a secret. I am loving how fast we can move now with the uh, boots and uh, Mithras Stanchion equipped. I don't have to worry about switching out to anything else because I can just magic anything that attacks me like you! Using a sword to stab someone, man, that is just so... That's so volume two, guys. <laughs> we use magic now. The Arch Magister of House Telvani, we should really use magic. Should really work on my conjuration too, in fact, uh... Well, I see cliff races up ahead, against which conjuration is not that useful, so... I need to I need to try and use more conjuration magic. I need to make a mental note of doing that, because it's probably the only way I'm going to improve it very much. I wondered if you would attack me. Uh, you're a great, great candidate, aren't you? How about that? Alright, so... What shall we summon? Clan fear? I think a clan fear would be good. Right, you fine. Uh, scamp. Come on, we can do better. There we are. Would any of my summons like to deal with this one? Fathis could kill this person within a millisecond. This is just sort of academic curiosity at this point, really. We're practicing with summons. I could kill you with a pencil, but I'm not going to. I'm going to kill you with my summons because I'm practicing, damn it. Take your ill-gotten gains so that they then become my ill-gotten gains. All right, I think the Foyarda should be just down here. They're still following. The spell will wear off in a minute, I'm sure. Ah, Cliff Racer. Oh, all sorts around here. Okay. Alright. Attack my minions. The dream would be able be would be being able to summon a Dramora. Without um or a golden saint without having to rely on scrolls and stuff. You guys don't feel like... Oh, there you go. Now you've got the idea. Summon AI is a bit weird. Well done, everyone. Another one over it. Come on. You missed! Well, it is, it is a cat scamp, I suppose. Not to be relied upon, particularly. Clan fears are pretty, uh... Clan fears are pretty good, though. It's like a sort of low to low to mid tier kind of summon. Clan fears are quite, uh, they're quite competent, actually. They're pretty good. They sort of scale pretty well with the rest of the game. Oh, hello. Yeah, come and try and attack me so that my summon gets the idea. There we go. I'm training it. Oh, you're coming to fight as well, are you? Ah. Yep, yep. Attack the cliff racer as well. Wow, I actually blocked an attack. Block I'm training my block skill here too. Amazing. Blighted killer Fraser and a blighted Kaguti. Yeah, and it kicked, it kicked both their asses. See, no joke. Blighted animals are no joke in this game, and neither is the clan fear. You're a flame Atronach. That's a bit different. I do hope I'm going in the right way. I think I am. The Foyard is a bit longer than I expected it to be, honestly. Though. And I resisted magic. Hee <laughs> hee. Yeah, I'm immune, to, I'm immune to fire, mate. It's not even worth trying. I could probably go for a swim in lava, and it wouldn't bother me that much. Not that I'm willing to test that theory. 
Well done, Clanvir. Dino power. Yeah, I can summon a freaking dinosaur. Okay. This must be it. Hello. Fail casting a spell, that won't do. Go on, Clanvit. Do your thing. So the Clan Freer takes on his mighty winged opponent. Lacking in height and stature, where one would be led to believe the Clan Freer is quite incapable of taking on the Cliff Racer, but unfortunately, this is not the case. The Cliff Racer is bold and foolish and foolhardy, especially these varieties as they are often afflicted with strange diseases. Here we go. We found it. This is also the mating season, so the cliff racer is particularly territorial. Hello. Alt, you must present express written permission by the Arch Magister before entering this mine. If you cannot supply such papers, you must leave immediately. I am the Arch Magister. Forgive me, but I've, I've never seen you before. Uh, have you proof? I have the seal. Uh, of course, Arch Magister. Uh, forgive me. I have express orders to question anyone who enters this mine. <clears throat> what? Why can I ask him about the Warrens? Oh, right. It's different Warrens. The Zarafel Warrens house the homes of everyone working in this mine. It's like a small Telvani town, but underground. Please feel free to tour the area, but keep in mind these are our homes, Arch Magister. It's the last and only bloke mine in Morrowind since the Blight. It's maintained by House Telvani. We used to control the supply of bloat until the Imperials began to import it, but we maintain our supply chain within our house. Your rank permits you to supply yourself, Arch Magister. Feel free to take a sample from any of the bloat spores, but keep in mind that our, produ our production has been low this year. Right. I don't know what bloat's actually useful for, alchemically speaking, really, but hey. We cultivate bloat strictly for the Telvani. It's then distributed throughout the province, but we hold the only supply. Due to this monopoly, we keep this mine's location a secret. Probably a good idea. You know what the great houses are like. You'd have like a red around and Lali warband outside otherwise. Uh, okay. Orvin can repair weapons and armor. He's usually found patrolling the Warrens. Okay. Oh, Arch Magister, I'm not sure why you're here, but we're having a terrible problem with the Shalks in the mine. Perusa Galden is the man you need to talk to about this, or any other matter here. Perusa Galden, BG. Somebody whose name is a B and G. Anyway, yeah, there's, there's the bloat spores. That's what they look like. Summoned by another. Questions again. I have gathered one bloat. And yeah, I think the, the, the Bethesda released a number of, as I've said in the past, they released a number of, uh, there it is. I think it'd be more valuable than five gold, wouldn't you really? But um, they released a number of free DLCs for this game, and I think one of them was one that added the bloat spores back into the game. But uh, this mod obviously is assuming that you don't have that installed, I suppose. There's the Warrens. Oh, hello. Oh, I'm sorry. Am I in your way? This is the changing of the guard. Oh, oh my God! Get out of my way! Oh, thank you. Right, got some slaves down here. Ah, something's attacking. Right, yes, about the Shalks. Oh, you barter, do you? I don't suppose you have an invisibility potion standard, do you? Uh, probably wishful thinking, really. Although, hello, you've got Tavani mineral oil. Oh my god, I don't want to buy all of them. Oh <laughs> that will apparently cost me um, <laughs> 4 million 143,518 gold if I buy all 65,000 mineral oil off it. Yeah, let's not do that. Let's buy a few of them. 
<laughs> but look, you'll notice some of the um, gems that we need for scroll making have been added to the inventories and stuff here now. But anyway, yeah, we need that for scroll making whenever I eventually get around to it, so that's good. But, uh, look, cultivation. We have strict orders not to talk about the subject to anyone, Archmagister, not even you. Only Master Golden is allowed to speak of such matters. It is a closely kept secret. Barusa is knowledgeable when it comes to horticulture. Over the years, he's taught me more about the bloat spore than any book. He has rare insights, and I respect him more than anyone in the world. I've been studying in these caverns with him for a long time. He is a quiet, reserved man, and prefers tending these spores to the bustle and chaos of the outside world. I think that's why he left his former position as Master Nelop's mouth, to get away from all the politics and intrigue. Sounds dreadfully boring to me, but okay, fine. Ah, oh, foul beast! I summon the... Dinosaur. Attack! Do my bidding. Also, please don't kill this person. Right, there we go. Shalk is dead. Hello. Would you be... Perusa Galden. Nice robe, dude. I like your style. Arch Magister, thank goodness you're here. I've been told to expect you. We're having a terrible shark problem. It's nearly halted production. Could you mate us? <sighs> you know, I could just go join the Fighters Guild if I wanted to do pest control, but okay, fine. Arch Magister of the Great House Telvani, and here I am killing sharks. Yes, the sharks began invading the cave a few months ago, and it's been getting steadily worse. Some of my, uh, some of them carry the blight, which could potentially kill all the bloat spores in the mine. I believe they're heading down there. A breeding down there, even. Making up words. I sent a few guards to investigate, and only one came back alive. He say, claims there's a giant shalk down there causing all the problems. We need someone to kill this shalk king before it's too late. Okay. This is no concern of mine. I simply don't have the time. I don't know. I mean, it does need doing. It is kind of important. But still, I will look into the matter immediately. Oh, thank you. If you kill the Shulk King, the rest may go away. It's through that door and down the tunnel. It's dark down there, so make sure you're prepared. There's a torch barrel under this platform if you need one. Pah! Me? You need a torch? Pah! Uh, whatever you do, don't fall over that ledge. The crevasse is crawling with so many, you'll be eaten alive. You'd better take these potions just in case. There's no telling what diseases they may be carrying. Oh no, that won't be that. No, that won't be a concern. Don't you worry about that. Blood cultivation is a carefully guarded secret, but I will share what I can, Archmagister. It requires high humidity, low light, and a fairly warm climate. Before populating a cave with bloat spore, we grow magical crystals in the cave. The warm glow of the crystals illuminates the cave without damaging the delicate spore, and also enhances the spore's growth. They are sensitive to magicka. They are also highly susceptible to disease and must be kept sheltered from the elements. Oh, okay. The Shalk King. I've done further research into the phenomenon. It seems to be something that only arises during the mating season every hundred years or so. The Shalk King somehow has the power to call other Shalks in the area and control them. If you wish to know more about it, I have a book about it lying around somewhere. While you're down there, you'd appreciate it if you kept the knife out for our missing guards as well. I fear they're probably dead. Um, yeah, I'm sure they are. Harvesting ledger. Ledger, even, not ledger. I have some further research on the King Shark. Apparently such a thing does exist. Edris Oral's book on fauna theorizes that the King Shark is the phenomenon that happens around the mating period. One Shark, out of thousands, grows to an enormous proportions and calls other sharks to his chosen mating grounds every hundred years. They choose places near food sources and have a particular fondness for bloat. This explains much of what has been happening lately. Now we just need someone to take care of the problem. We cannot allow these creatures to interfere with production any longer. Indeed. Okay. What a tremendous amount of work that's gone into this random little side quest here. It's all okay, full of people populated with books and notes and things, and it's... Oh, wow, well, it's just... I'm very impressed, I must say. Whoa, hello, okay, what's... What is... What the devil's going on here? 
Where is my amulet of star vision? Why, Jingo? No, that's not what I meant to do at all. There we go. Thank you, Clan Fear. I'm going to allow you to keep doing this. Spells, yeah. How's my conjuration going? Ooh, nearly there, nearly, nearly messed the way to a skill increase. I have to admit, playing as a conjurer is a lot less efficient, but uh, really could do with improving this skill. Wow! I did not expect you to beat the clan fear, but that you did. Well done, Mr. Shalk. There we go. Come on. Don't make me get my damn dagger out. I do not wish to sully the mighty Merun's razor with the blood of Shalks. It's just demeaning. That was a pretty tough Shalk, though, apparently, so. Alright. Oh, my goodness, there is loads of them. Okay, we might need something a bit more uh, heavy duty here. I'm wondering what we might have that would help with this. Ah, of course. Yeah, hello, Shalks. Attack me, all of you. Yes, fight me. So that my minions will target you. Well done, everyone. Did we miss one? I think we might have missed one. Yeah, we did. Come on, we can do it. There we go. Get out this little bit here. Well done. Oh, are we still not done? Hmm. They all look dead to me, but... Whatever. Do your thing. I need a name for you. I need a name for this clan fear. Ha oh, ha, more of them. The next wave cometh. <laughs> Come on, clan fear. Job's not quite done yet. And this one. Actually, this one doesn't seem to be bothering me. Oh, now it is. You're going to be on summon in a second, aren't you? Hopefully you can kill this first. Well done. Oh, it's getting very dark. Okay. Ah, oh, and I found the dead guards. Where's my magic lamp? I have a magic lamp for purposes such as this one. Although I don't think it's actually on my person right now, rather frustratingly. I do have a regular lantern and a couple of torches, though. Is Night Eye on my quick menu? It's actually not. Gotham's Magical Lamp. Do I have that in my inventory or not? No, I don't. Where the hell did I put it? I think it's in my lab somewhere. Ah, uh, whatever. Ah, that would be the King Shell, would it? Uh, levitate. Actually, well, I mean, I don't really need to levitate. I can do this. Having a wizard battle with a giant beetle. There's this madness. Oh. 
corpse. The king shark is dead. He has a lot of bloat. King shark resin. Regular shark resin. Cannot remove this corpse. Okay, fine. If you say so. And, uh, oh my word. Okay, okay. Here's the thing. I, uh, <laughs> I really want to try and kill all these just for the sake of doing it. Um, right, let's levitate up above you. And, uh, let's let the fun happen, shall we? Oh boy. So far, it seems the sharks are winning. That is uh, hilarious and also disturbing. Do I have anything, any cool like spells of like really high damage, high area? I'll certainly do the trick. Ah, oh, no, they'll resist fire. That's the problem. Frost then. <laughs> Need more eyesight. Oh god. Hello everybody. Um Hellfire won't rip work particularly well, they resist fire, so I have a lot of fire-based things, apparently. Windform and Windwalker, they seem to be exactly the same. Only Windwalker is 500 points instead of 250. Huh, interesting. quite got them all. I've, I've run out of elemental burst frost. That is a shame. Aww. Ah. Oh my god, there's actually corpses and stuff down here. Get them all? I think all the ones in here are dead. <laughs> wow, okay, this was pretty crazy. Minion of my runes. Oh, it's just another scam spell. Alright, let's get out of this horrible pit. Kind, sweet embrace, would that have worked? Actually, that would have worked. That would have worked really well. I should have used that. Let's just... Just to be on the safe side. <laughs> Alright, okay. I think we're done here. Leveling up my destruction would be the worst thing in the world, actually. It's not one of my major skills, though, so I'm not going to benefit from leveling it up that much, but still. Do you know, this, this spell is really good considering what it does and considering my actual skill level with destruction it's a very efficient spell actually but uh, seriously though where be them shulks that are attacking me and still causing combat to occur I demand to know because infinite battle music is quite irritating King Shark's dead, along with pretty much all of the others. Except for a sneaky one somewhere that's probably got stuck in the terrain. So, the Shark King is dead. Thank you, Arch Magister. You have saved the bloat production of the entire continent. I shall arrange to send regular shipments to your tower. That's the least I can do. 
Please tell me, is it really true? How large was it? How many other shocks were down there? Or a lot. How did they behave on the Shout King's presence? Uh, did the Shark King possess any special qualities? How did you kill it? What was on its body? Oh, I have so many questions. You must know. I must know everything about it. Well. That was pretty crazy. So many freaking sharks. Black lichen as well. What's funny though is like, whole other bit we didn't even go into when we were in here. Oh god. Out of my way. Thank you. There's the Warrens here. Whole other area here. Look at all this. Look at it all. It's, uh, it's awesome. I, I don't think that any of this is vanilla either. No, it's definitely not. Golden golden manor really that's that's golden manor is it oh i see it's a bit bigger on the inside it's one of those deals it's not too bad for a hole in the ground i suppose carlton's big book of bloat Well, well. Scroll of lesser domination, scroll of healing. Don't mind if I do. I'm the Archmagister, I can take these. Alchemy for beginners. Ooh. I won't steal all of his books, but, uh... The final lesson? Uh, a little bit of a skill book kind of look about it, but if, if it was, I think I've already read it. He's quite the alchemist, isn't he? Oh, he's even got some master gear, too. Inferior bloat spore. Inferior bloat. Notes on inferior bloat. Master Neloth. I finally managed I finally have managed to crossbreed the bloat spore in order to make it more hardy. Unfortunately, this has the side effect of producing inferior bloat from the spore. It's not a complete loss, however. I have a plan that will make excellent use of this half-breed. I understand you have been aware of our recent problems with the Imperial Commonwealth. As bloat populations dwindle and the Mages Guild demand for supply for their studies, they have taken an interest in our secrets of bloat production. We've caught Imperial spies in the mines trying to steal uh, samples of the spore. I believe they want to secure their own trade in the substance. What I suggest is we give them what they want. If we can find a way to give them the inferior bloat spore, without arousing suspicion, they will have secured their own supply and may lay off the little raids on our mine. Of course, the bloat they produce will be inferior, but that will only go to show that bloat production should be left to the Telvani. <laughs> Very clever. I like it. Water source. I wonder if I could drink from that with my magic cup if I had it. Not that I need to, but... Anyway, yeah, this is all marvellous, this stuff, isn't it? Fantastic, they've got little houses down here. Like they said, it's like a little town, effectively. Reminds me of that troglodytic community in on the mainland. I forget what it's called. It was near Ranyan Rune. That was such a long time ago. But anyway, we are done here, I believe. back towards the exit instead of teleporting right away just in case anything else to say no good all right we're back outside and now i am going to teleport 
Where is it? Where is the blasted thing? There we go. Let us travel to the upper tower, because then I can access the uh, the crystal here. Oh, Archmaster, I have a package for you. It's a book from a, a, some guy named Arusa Galden. There's a letter here from him as well. I have no idea what he's talking about, but he seems happy with whatever you did for him. Oh, you're going to... Okay, I guess he's magically faxing this letter to me through the... <laughs> okay. Letter from Bruce Galen has been added to your inventory. Bloatsport cultivation has been added to my inventory. Channel's updated. Good stuff. Yeah, I'm in the unity. I'm working on getting you the potions for that. I'm working on it. Uh, was there anything else to mention? Oh, I need to give the brown book itself to the librarian, don't I? That was the, the whole thing, wasn't it? Yes, 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 yes. What did I need for the permanent conjuration again? Oh, yeah, I need a page or a, or a book or something. For the library. That's what I needed. Maybe I should check my hideout in Vivek in case I, the, the page from Sorkfield's Tower is in there somewhere, buried under a pile of stuff. It wouldn't surprise me. Because I know I've got both those books, but... Uh, yeah. Maybe she wants that specific page. Let's head down to the vault for now. I always, do, I always go the wrong way. I always go the wrong way. It's left for the library. Left for the library. Nice bit of alliteration. Maybe I'll remember it then. Library's on the left. There you are. I have you, the brown book. Ah, is that the new one? Excellent. If you give me a copy, I'll place it in the archives. Thank you. I'll keep this copy safe. I have something for you as well. It's a rare and expensive book, and I think it would make a wonderful addition to your collection. You'll find this complete volume of the Alchemist Compendium. Ooh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. So, letter from Barusa Galden. Dear Arch Magister Father Zilvan, I just had to thank you for again for helping us. With our problem out of the way, I finally had enough time to finish my book. I've sent you an advanced copy. I hope it finds a good home in your library. Regards, Barusa Galden. P.S. I have another matter to discuss with you should you ever find the time. Oh, no. Please visit me in Zaf Zarafel once more. I have enclosed a ring that will... Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. I have enclosed a ring that will teleport you here whenever you wish. Thank goodness. Didn't want to make that trip all over again. Complete Alchemist Compendium, value 2,000. This book was compiled from my earlier works to meet the demand for a single uh, tome, not tomb, <laughs> of knowledge on the subject of alchemy. It's divided into six parts based on the earlier editions. Part one, alchemy for beginners and basic restore potions, potions of curing, potions. Oh God, I think it's a recipe book for like every potion in the game. Oh boy. Shame there aren't any more restore magic or ingredients. I could have done with more than just those four, but that is the only restore magic or ingredients in the game. And they're all annoying to find except for Conberries. Potions of curing. So alright, alright, here's the thing. <laughs> is is the one in here that bloat does that's useful? Because we've heard lots about how wonderful and valuable bloat is, but does it actually do anything useful in here? Because it's not coming up, is it? Meteor slime. Where on earth did you get that from? Oh, this book is seriously good. Seriously, seriously good. I don't think I ever want to drop this book ever again. It's brilliant. Fortify intelligence. Bloat, apparently, yeah, fortifies intelligence. 
What else does it do? Fortifies willpower. Okay. Wow, fortify strength has some rare ingredients, doesn't it? Considering you could, in the vanilla game, you could just drink a ton of Sujama and have the same effect, but hey. Bloat. Look at bloat in here. Doesn't come up very often for something that's so valuable. Oh, bloat again. What is this? Detect animal. Okay. That's your lot. Yeah, not entirely convinced on the value of bloat, if I'm honest, but okay. Bloat spore cultivation. Last copy of the book he had in his in his private quarters that we snooped around. Book of Daedric Summoning 2. Oh, I need to get my Book of Daedric Summoning 1. Don't I? Just to be on the safe side. All right, you. You, sir, organize my books. Because I think that what that will now do is he'll make a copy, possibly. Arena's Guide to Enchanting. Arena Uvarith. Oh my god, this is this is her. This is his wife. Poor Uvarith's wife. I must have picked this up in her tomb and not realized that this is like in in this is this is a book she's written. Yeah, so there's a Varina's Guide to Enchanting in here, and also on the shelf. So I think, like he said, he makes copies of them for us. Which is just great, of course. Complete Alchemist Compendium. There we go, I'll have that back, thank you. Oh, this library feature is, is just so good. It does take a little bit of the joy out of manually sorting the books into my little shelves and sections I had, but at the same time, this just does it so much better. I wonder if it sorts them al alphabetically. So where, where has the... Uh... No, I'm going to... Don't take it off the shelf. Take it from the closet. Whichever one it's ended up in. That was also the scroll chest, I mustn't forget that. Ah, oh, there it is. There's the complete alchemy, alchemist's compendium. And of course, these versions of the books don't seem to have a value. So you can't just get infinite money by creating infinite books, which is smart. <clears throat> Definitely smart. Oh my god, I'm, <coughs> I'm choking on nothing right now. I don't know why. Frog in my throat. Uh, rudimentary scroll creation. I want that back. All right, jolly good. Oh, and there's uh, Natasha's Union. It's got a little... It's got its own little pedestal to sit on. I like that. It's a lovely bit of texture work on there, actually, isn't it? It's gorgeous. I wish I could zoom in, like, if I was playing Thief. Because then I can actually, like... Hold on. Because there's stuff written here. Oh, wow, look, it's actually the text that's in the scroll as well. She had no illusions. I believe she knew we were doomed from the beginning. Darnie, 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 it's the whole lot. The one with an illustration of, I guess that's her, it's supposed to be her. Uh, I don't know who or what that is, but... What a gorgeous bit of artwork. Huh. Anyway...
I've totally lost track of what on earth I'm meant to be doing now. What is gearing on? Yeah, we can go back and talk to him using that ring he gave us. My my collection of magical teleportation rings <laughs> increases. Uh, yeah, King Shark's dead. Ah, uh, we can go talk to Baladas down in the bottom there if we want to. Maybe I will. We're, since we're here, you know. We still need to find those potions for Fast Eddie. And we need to find uh, something for the conjuration. I've already forgotten what it is. I don't remember. Why is it not listed in here? Weird. Uh, I don't know what I have to do. Oh, another thing we can do while we're here is we can go have a look in the um the the strong room as well. I must have forgot about that. In fact, I did. I'm just looking at my list of notes here. Okay, brown book. Did that. Invisibility potion. Still need to do that. Uh, resurrect Baladas's wife. Now done, apparently. Zero's quest. We'll get to that. Throne room. Yeah, I must have forget the throne room. Uh, I don't know what you call it, really. The, 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 the audience with the prisoner. The trial, whatever we're calling it. Bookmark. Let's go topics. Permanent conjuration. Right. We. Yeah. Okay. Right. It's the. It's the. It's the. It's the page. It's the page. Boy. I'm. I'm struggling to keep track of everything right now. Excuse me, librarian. Would you move? Would you consider moving, please? Morrowind has stopped working. It's lost the plot as well as I have, I suppose. All right, fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> 